In China, culinary arts can be kung fu too. In this joint, you need to be a bit of a fighter to finish your plate. Now, during the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing, more than 100 restaurants were forbidden from selling dog meat so that the ever-delicate Western sensibilities wouldn't be hurt. But now the games are over, and it's business as usual. <laughs> so welcome to Madventure's cooking show and the most vomit rushes kitchens of the world. This restaurant is called Liu Pu Kang, and it's the veritable pilgrimage site for the gourmandization of grommet. Yes, tonight's edition is dedicated to the domesticated subspecies of grey wolf, a man's best friend and a Chinese food source since the times of Confucius. Canis lupus familiaris, more commonly known as dog. Preparation is easy. After slaughtering the flea bag, the best tools to get rid of its fur are hot water, a knife and a blowtorch. Then you just chop it and boil it for hours to get rid of the smell. Our chef de cuisine tonight is a Master Pan. He is in charge of the wet work. Mmm, a mix of spices include... What do we use here, Master Pan? Tong, jiang, chuan jiao, da liao. Splendid. I know all you mad cooks at home are already eyeing the family dog, but don't worry, don't worry, all the recipes and ingredients will be found on our website, madventures.tv. <laughs> okay, enough with the badinage. It's time to transfer the documents or get off the fax machine. Is it Tunna Rai who gets to wolf down this tasty tailwagger? As always, the decision is left to rock, paper, scissors, chunk and paw. Are you ready? Ready? One. Mm -mm. One, One, two, three! <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Hey, hey. please. You're right. The whole place is quiet. They are watching. <laughs> They're watching. <laughs> please. It's very good. <laughs> it's very good. Shiv shiv. It's very good, it's very good. I go, go for a fried dog now. Fried yes. dog, fried dog. Okay, this is fried, fried. Dog. this is fried, this is fried. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna think okay. it's just normal great beef, Kobe you... beef or something like that. It's not a dog. The idea is the, the most crazy one. No, the intestines, you can see here is a... Uh, while I'm eating here, I'm sorry, sorry to, to speak while, I'm, while my mouth full. Of dog. Of dog. <laughs> it's just the whole concept of eating, eating a pet. It is pretty bad, and that's why I guess it's it's so sensitive subject in the West. Hmm. Poor Pluto. Kidney of Fifi. Liver of Pluto. And guts of uh, Gromit. So this is the doggy burger, doggy intestine burger. Go for it. When you get the when you get the concept away, when when you get rid of the idea of eating dog, this is actually very good. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. 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 Dude, no problem. No, no worries. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. Dog, beef, pork. Thinking and living animals, aren't they? What's the difference, really? I know you might find this shocking, but yes, in some parts of the world, people really do eat dogs, and this may have happened in your neck of the woods, too. In the old times, humans have been pigging out on Pluto in Europe and North America, and in Africa, it's not unheard of uh, occasionally binge on Bolivar. Mostly nowadays, of course, people frown upon feasting on Fifi. But in Asia, canine consumption has always been par for the course. In the West, we have the luxury to distance ourselves from the choices dictated by necessity. In our world, dog is a man's best friend. But in here, he fulfills the duty a bit more differently. Cut. <laughs> 